Good day, YouTubers. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from all around the world. Today we're doing a box opening for the next build. The San Francisco. A sectional build. So as you can see, I've sort of changed the layout in my shop. We got rid of that big blue toolbox. That's still for sale on Facebook Marketplace right now. I got it up there on the back porch. And we moved all my electrical supply cabinet or shelving rack over here on the other front door so it takes up less room in the building here and we had this big giant table and storage in my wife's she shed for several years tried to sell it in the garage sale last week but that's one thing that didn't go we did get rid of a lot of stuff. I made 500 bucks. So it was very successful. God blessed with that sale. So when that table was left over, I said, hmm, I've got the space now for when we remove that toolbox. All I got to do is get the electrical wrap out of the way and we can set that table up in here instead of putting it back in storage and that gave me a place to put our latest build so for now instead of going in the house it's going to sit out here and the steer royale and San Juan both look pretty good here nose to nose so I put all new doorknobs on the interior doors in my house last week uh, 10 all together and of course I did the front door and the kitchen door with a different set and did a lot of reorganizing in here so spent all week cleaning up and organizing after the garage sale but i do have more workspace in here now with that big toolbox gone so today let's do a box opening on this new kit we got See if I can set you up here. Where you can see this table. And let's get this thing out of here. like we got a CD in there which is a good thing awful lot of lumber just for one little sectional build though ain't Planking. <clears throat> Looks like thick planking and thin planking and 
some stapula, sapula, sapila. That's the dark colored wood there. Might be walnut. Oak, maybe. A little bit of mass material. Yeah, quite a bit for just a sectional build. and pewter and wood parts blocks and it looks like some 55 gallon drums and some 10 gallon drums some buckets oh down in there some baling pins got some wire and some cannonballs and some nice shiny brass cannons. Some eye bolts. Those are good for the framing of the gun ports. I like that. We did that on the San Juan. They were a lot easier than the Royal Sun. And we got some thread. A little bit of square short lumber. And some rectangle short lumber. And a sail or two. I'm surprised. They gave me a sail. Because the pictures here don't show a sail. So we got a sail, it looks like. Or two, maybe. Or three. That box is taped shut, isn't it? Yeah. So we will have to look at this real careful on the computer. Because there's going to be a ton of photographs and some videos and a parts list and instructions. San Francisco Museum quality piece the most feared ships of the Spanish Armada were the galleons these sailing ships made their first appearance in the middle of the 10 v1 a 16th century were preeminent among the warships for 150 years. The San Francisco was one of the most brilliant galleons of this age. By the looks of it, it wasn't a ship of the line, but it probably had a good reputation as a battleship or uh, quick to be in the right place at the right time, so... It could blast them. There's a bucket there next to the cannon. Well, that's for cannonballs. And a little different looking crow's nest. So, there's all our laser cut stuff this kit was uh, on sale Amazon for oh like a hundred and twenty bucks or something it's pretty pretty reasonable compared to the last build 
The, the Royal Sun we built took us two years to build it was eight hundred and something dollars. So this is a nice break from the expensive cost. So there's some walnut. That's going to be the display stand probably. These pieces look like for the crow's nest and the mast rings. And these are for the cannons. More walnut probably or cherry. Oak. I think it's pretty much walnut probably. And the one and only paper in the instructions is just a parts list layout of all the laser cut sheets yeah that's two two sided so that'll tell us all the laser cut pieces we need to get what they are so when we look at the cd we know what to call what and where to put it that's probably the crow's nest too these are going to be uh, frames in the hall hmm what is going to be that Uh, maybe the grill there. I was thinking, oh yeah, stairways too, maybe. Could be stairways or grill. Or uh, vent. More frames. These are going to be beams for the frames. Get the interior and the exterior frames, the main, the main ones. Okay, so not a whole lot, but still going to be a lot. It's interesting to see how we're going to take all this stuff here and then turn it into something like that. Okay, it's time to do some homework. We gotta study this real good before we start. Spend some hours in there. Get an idea of what is what everywhere. So we're familiar with all these pieces that we are gonna be coming across as we start start the build. High tech cut. Now, this is another Artesia Latina model. Um, all the ones I've built so far are from Artesia Latina. The only exception is I was ordering them straight from their factory in Italy. And this model I ordered from Amazon. Then I have another sectional um, build like this one, but it's much bigger. And it probably has four decks or whatever. 
Um, I didn't see that when I was doing the research for buying it from Amazon. I did see this one and said, okay, that's good enough for what I want to do right now because I wasn't really into, uh, I did look at a bunch of other models and other manufacturers, but <clears throat> I wasn't really into starting another big build right now. I got some other stuff I'm doing too. And I do want to continue with uh, a challenge for the viewers here on YouTube and <clears throat> also a challenge for myself. Um, you don't want to get lackadaisical and lazy and do nothing. I'm always doing something. We had some rain last night. Everything is wet. I put some hay down in the chicken runs. They seem to like that even though it's all wet. Hello, Henny Penny. I know she lays eggs because I see her in there laying eggs. But she'll crow like a rooster sometimes. She's copying the neighbor. The neighbor's got roosters over there. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. They're all here now. There's nobody on the nest. So, like the last video said, the end of one and the beginning of another is what we're doing now. Harvest select, oh, that must be broccoli. I just refilled all the bird feeders because I was at uh, Rural King and picked up some sunflower seeds for the chickens. And of course I put sunflower seeds in these feeders. The squirrels and the birds are here all day long making a mess. So let me boot up the old laptop and Spend some hours in there looking on this CD. Learning what I got to learn before I start gluing things up. Thanks for watching.